Hello, and welcome to the President's Update for April 6th here at the remote serving Northwest State Community College. You know, we've been doing this for a couple of weeks, and I'm noticing that that adrenaline that I had at the beginning starting to wear off. And so our first slide is for everyone, and it's really looking at the difference between the stress we're under and indicators towards burnout, particularly disengagement. So I've got some coping mechanisms listed here, nine ways to manage stress. For me, it has been regular sleeping cycle, daily walks, trying something new, picking up my guitar again, reaching out to people electronically, catching up. These are all good things to do. Self-care, very important at this stressful time. Now, this is about getting back to you because we started our remote learning adventure with an April 6th guideline. Well, April 6th is about to come and the governor has been uh, working through a new set of orders. So we will be following the governor's orders. For now, we have a summer schedule that is all online. We are not going to offer any public events or gatherings until we get clear instructions. Frankly, I say all clear, but we know that even coming back, there'll probably be some restrictions or guidelines. Now, at the same time, we are going to offer our scholarships. We are going to have board meetings. We are going to give out diplomas as part of our remote serving adventure together. Now for our learners, really appreciate the quick pivot of our faculty and they have modified courses so that you can get across the finish line this term. And they're eager to help you. I was at a town hall the other night, faculty working together electronically, absolutely amazing. However, we do see a small group of learners who have, as I mentioned on that first slide, disengaged. And so, Maybe that's for all kinds of good reasons, but we really want you to connect. Look at the counseling number here, 419-591-6487. There's a lot of grace, a lot of forgiveness for individual circumstance. So please reach out at this time of your need and let us help you. Also for our learners, we did start registration for the summer and fall terms. Summer right now, totally online. If we get the opportunity to put face-to-face -face up, we will. In terms of public gatherings, we would have this month done a young professionals meeting, scholarship night, and an honor ceremony. Now, we'll still do some things electronically with our young professionals. We are awarding our scholarships we will give out honors. We're just not going to do them in large face-to-face -face gatherings. And in May, we would have had commencement, the distinguished alumni, as well as the green carpet. Now we will do diplomas. Now I will also say we've listened to our students in a survey. We will have a large gathering together when we can safely, because our students have asked us to. We're going to go ahead and get those diplomas out so students can use them right away. Look out for Robin Wilcox, Foundation Director's Communication. She's extended the deadline for nominations for the distinguished alumni. And while we can't gather for the green carpet, there will be ways for uh, those who are connected, our friends, our family, our alumni, to help our students in need. Now, we are keeping our summer camps on the books for now because should we get some room to be able to offer uh, learning activity in a more face-to-face -face setting, I know the community would welcome those. But again, we'll await further guidance. A couple of shout outs. I wanna start with our governor who's done an outstanding job, recent BBC article on the governor as the one governor in the country that really got on this, got together, using science in a good way, Dr. Acton, Amy Acton, is a rock star. Representative Bob Latta hosted all of the college and university presidents in a phone call, 
He's been very responsive and put out a recent letter to help us understand the new CARES Act. That's the federal stimulus package. Local representatives, Craig Riedel and Jim Hoops, as well as Senator Rob McCauley, working really hard for our area and for all of Ohio. So just a shout out to our representatives for the great work that they're doing, often at personal risk, traveling to the Capitol, uh, U.S. or Columbus Capitol to meet. Well, that's all I've got. I will say, if you want to keep up, we do have a COVID-19 page, and we would really look forward. Our friends and alumni page love to see your postings on what's going on. I know at Northwest, we're a big fan of ohiochannel.org and the governor's two o'clock daily updates. And we look at the coronavirus website on the state interactive that tells us what's going on here in this area. Frankly, right now, handful of cases with a couple of hospitalizations and several counties in our area haven't had any reported cases yet. So we're very blessed to be in the situation that we are. And with that, I say thank you for your continued patience as we learn to serve you remotely.